Hey guys, Stream Vlogs here. Welcome back to another vlog. Still feeling slightly abused by DWP, but we've got that on the way. We've got a letter typed up. Mainly my dad. But, you know. Milo knows I'm sad. So he's lying with me. I'm just having a relaxing day today. I was hoping that it'd be nice weather and I could go and help Michael with his car again, but it's pretty shit. Not gonna lie, it's been pissing it down all day. Oh, almost tea time. <laughs> Joking, it's quarter to three. I have my tea in about an hour. Feeling a little bit munchy now, so I might actually have my share of bag of uh, was it Chili Heat Wave three? Was that I bought that or some Kinder bars? Whatever one I fancy more. Or I might have them both today, just the Kinder Bars or the Chris now and the other one later on. I'm feeling a bit munchy. I managed to fix that window net though, by using that black tape. You know, it's that, uh, was it Loctite tape or something like that? Can't remember, but it's good stuff. It's holding it for now. If it doesn't hold, I'll just give up on the idea. The only thing that would hold that net up, I believe, now is like Pentax. But, to hell with that. The Velcro they supply it with doesn't work. I can't cut for shit, so it looks like that, and it's just awkward. <laughs> I'm absolutely exhausted. Ah, I only got up a few hours back, isn't I'll be going to bed tonight, a half decent hour. My tea should be on the way, and it should be here within half an hour. Because I've ordered from a takeaway called Bilal Palace, which is up in Lethem or Tulloch or something like that. I believe it's Lethem though. And they are not on Just Eat or Everybody Eats. You have to go on their website and, or use their app. Um, you order it and it says order placed or paid, accepted, cooking with the driver or on the way rather. And when it's at your house, delivered. So at um, this point, I've been waiting 30 minutes, and it's been accepted, and it is cooking, and it's only to be put with the driver now, and it'll be with me. It's a timer. They give it an hour to get to your door. It starts a countdown from 59 minutes, 59 seconds, do 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 all the way down, and as I speak, because this is just over a minute, I'm probably at about what, 28 minutes and something now. Can't wait to hear the update. Hopefully not too long, because I am starving. <sighs> if and don't use a razor blade for your screen protector. So my screen protector was falling off the top right corner. I don't know why, but it started to get dirt under it, and it wouldn't stick. Just around the camera, so it was causing a bit of an issue. So instead, I just grabbed a razor blade to pull up that corner, and carefully, that is the action used, just slight razor blade movement, and just go like that with your fingers with the blade in it, and just move it down the screen protector. So I've decided that on this channel, I will no longer talk about my finances. What comes in and goes out of my bank account is only for me and my dad to know, because he helps me with my finances. So, that means from this point on, I will no longer talk about my universal credit payments or my personal independence payment PIP because it's just causing me a lot of stress and it only just makes me look worse if I'm sitting on your money yeah, money I've been taking up on money yeah. there is no need for me to even tell people who I probably don't even know how much I get and what I spend on so this is not going to be a big drag like I'm not going to drag this out longer. It needs to be apart from the fact that I will no longer answer questions to do with my, my money is. I will no longer disclose that information. And that stays between me and my dad. Because it's unnecessary that I tell anybody else. Anyhow. To the next part of the video, which hopefully isn't as annoying as this one was. To make. And for you all to watch. You think I'm fat? Even that makes me sick, I should The thing that might shock... Oh, for fucks... Thanks! I'll just sit on that menu there. Brightness menu. That'll do. 
So the thing most of you may not know about me is, surprisingly, I can't eat cakes. I hate fairy cakes, they make me sick. They're just too sweet. I hardly eat chocolate. There was a box of Lindor's chocolates over there earlier. Nice input. Had I been six years younger, I would have wolfed that whole box down. But as I've gotten older, I've had less of an appetite for chocolate. Fizzy juice, I enjoy that. I am brew. That kind of thing. Vimto's good as well. But I'm I'm not that heavy a fizzy juice drinker. Like that's water. I've got another three bottles of water, like water bottles, if you will, over there. I drink a lot of water. I don't eat cakes, as I've said. Um, not big on the chocolate. I don't eat the vegetables and fruit, though. Either way, I must have a really slow metabolism, along with all the carbs that I eat, obviously. I'm not going to sit back and deny that. But all things being considered, I would increase my uh, if, what? I would increase my risk of diabetes if I was sitting eating tons of chocolate and cakes every day. Bit of kebab, mm, I don't know. Maybe just my opinion, but I think that's a little bit less likely to give you something than eating fairy cakes and shite all the time. I don't mean literal shite. For those who might have taken that way. Anyway. Milo Stone, and I won't bother him, because I'm too nice that way. So I'll let him sleep, I'll get back to my YouTube, and then at some point, in the next hour, I'm going to bed. Because it's 20 to 1. I did say about 20 to 2, I go to bed. Perhaps earlier, because I'm yawning. Well, it's mostly because I know that I've got to get up stupid early on Wednesday morning. As I've said already, as I've said already, I've got a driving lesson at twenty past nine. That's uh, my driving instructor picking me up from the house, and I was driving, and then pulling up at the test centre for twenty past ten, sanitising the vehicle, opening the windows, etc. for the test, change masks if you want to. That kind of thing, and then the test should last about forty to fifty minutes. And I my driving lessons feel like they're going for twenty minutes or less. They're an hour. If a test is forty minutes, it's gonna feel like I don't I don't know actually with that one. Would a test feel longer because you're under so much pressure, or would it feel shorter because it's like follow the road to Glasgow until further notice, and then you just go right, okay, that's there. Turn this one red light, green light, go indicate there. Okay, now do this road, and you're like, oh, shit, I've already done that, okay. <laughs> Only bit I worry about is uh, if you ask me to parallel park, I'm going to be like, because I don't know how to do it. And I'll say this to you now, so anybody who's got to be driving in the next few years that watches my videos can know. Hmm. Pull up to a car that you're going to parallel park behind, and make sure you leave about a door's width, which is quite wide, it's about a metre between you and the other car to ensure the fronts of your cars are level. Back up until your mirrors are level. This depends on your vehicle, obviously. And then stop, give an all round check, and then you're going to do one rotation of the wheel if it's something like a Ford Focus, like my one, the my driving instructor's car is. One revolution of the wheel and reverse back to a two o'clock position. That's not going to look like two o'clock to you, but. Here's 12 o'clock, go all the way back to 2 o'clock, straighten the wheels out, go back, and it's guidance as the rest of it. Well, not guidance, sorry, it's uh, your own guidance, I suppose that would be the word. So reverse back until you feel like you're close enough, full lock on the steering wheel, and reverse back the rest of the way. Then when you're straight, straighten up the wheels, pull forward a little bit if you need to, and neutral and handbrake. It's a pain in the backside, <laughs> Has to be done. There's another one that is easy as well. I'm sorry this isn't going to be cut. But it's neat to know. There's another one where you pull up on the right side of the road. Where it's safe to do so. You handbrake in neutral. Then your instructor will tell you. To reverse two to three car spaces. Uh, obviously giving all round checks. And then pull off on the road when it's safe to do so. 
it literally is called the Maneuver with no name. Many instructors call it different names. My one just calls it the Maneuver with no name. It's probably just the way it's known. Andrew's driving instructor calls it the Pull up on the right, reverse and take off maneuver. Something like that. That works too. Anyway, apologies for this video being so long. I will make an extended video on this in the uh, nearby future. In fact, probably the next video I do. Because it's all important, it's all happening to me. So until the next one, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, turn on notification bell if you are ready, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>